we are ready to start those women's 800 meter heats. It was high drama in the men's yesterday that took place last night. These women are down in the blazing sunshine this morning. Angelica Sana gets things underway in lane nine. This is Prudence Sek Godiso of South Africa. A real breakthrough in 2022. And she's got more consistent this season as well. Regular 158 competitor. She has lane eight. And just inside of her, the reigning silver medalist from the Olympic Games and the World Championships and the world leading athlete. That's why she's wearing that green big bib. It's Keely Hodgkinson of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It's been a not so many races for Keely Hodgkinson this season, but they've been phenomenal. Started off her season with a national record 155-77. Elena Bello, semi-finalist last time round, goes in lane six. Maria Abazabel of Spain in her first season sub two takes lane five. Marina Lacura Nakang of the Athlete Refugee Team goes in lane four. Vivian Kipritic of Kenya takes lane three. It wasn't good for the Kenyan men yesterday in the heat. Really struggled. Wanyonyi and his teammates not really coping with the heats. So let's see if Kipritic can do better this this morning. Evelina Maitanen of Finland goes in lane two. She went sub two for the first time at the Pabu Nermu Games in Turku. 159.96 her best so the qualification to make it through to the semi-final which will be on friday evening it's first three in each heat and then just three Four time qualifiers works. across seven heats world athletics with the rule change in the longer track events with no time qualifiers are slimming it down in the other events as well and they're confident in their seeding and they feel like it's better to look at the way that people race rather than whether they've run a faster time because they were lucky perhaps to be drawn in a heat where someone chose to go faster Sliding down the back straight here, Keely Hodgkinson and Prudence set goddess so shoulder to shoulder as they cut across. You want to cut across this back straight nice and calmly, nice and slowly. Keely Hodgkinson content to lead at the moment. Yeah, Hodgkinson's just been pushed back there with the Polish athlete Sana coming through and wanting to make this an honest pace early. But Hodgkinson sitting there in fifth position, she's boxed in at the moment, but she always finds that extra route. When we talked about 400 meter speed, Keely Hodgkinson has only raced two 800s on the circuit and then the national championships. And she's actually done more 400s. She went to the European under 23 championships to test herself. Came out with a bronze medal there. So Keely Hodgkinson happy to sit way back in this pack. Sana, the athlete from Poland, she was second at their national championships. She takes the belt 58.84. No messing around this morning in these women's 800 meter heats. They'll know there's time qualifiers on the line and 58 is perfect. That's really respectable. Give these, gives these women every chance of running as well as they can. And it looks like the Kenyan athlete Kipritich is starting to move up here and Keely is on the shoulder of the Kenyan Kipritich, but it's all Sana out there in front looking to run as fast as she can to try and get through to this next round. And all respect to the Polish woman, Angelika Sana. She's just laid it down here for the rest of the athletes. 129.47 through 600. She's holding on to her pace very, very well. But Keely Hodgkinson was probably just finishing up her warm up there in the first 600 because she looks supreme here as we enter the home straight. She turned it on with around about 180 meters to go. Prudence that got her so positioned herself well. She was ready to follow Keely Hodgkinson when the move came. And what a finish here from Evelyn Matinen of Finland. She's doing fantastically well. She's going to be rewarded with the third place. 159.54 for Keely Hodgkinson. The top three might be under two minutes, maybe just outside for maintenance. So those time qualifiers at the moment probably looking outside of two minutes. Well, as the two 21-year-olds who took the first two positions there, Sagodasu, the South African, had a great finish. She actually started her season at the World Cross Countries, if you can believe. It's a little bit further than 800 metres, but at Bathurst, she was in that mixed relay for South Africa that came fourth. I think she'll be happier running the two laps. She looks ecstatic with getting that automatic qualifier. She won the doubles at nationals in the 800 and 1500. Finnish athlete Martin also will be stoked to come through to get that automatic qualifier, but it is all about Keely Hodgkinson. You'd be forgiven in forgetting that she is only 21 years of age. The athlete who loves Michael Jordan, she loves his mindset and she runs exactly like the Michael Jordan of, of track and field because she does go out there with supreme confidence. And do you know, Hannah, she's actually 95% deaf in one ear. She had to have a sur surgery in 2015 to remove a tumor. So I think with her coaching staff, sometimes she uses that to her advantage with selecting. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? Two minutes recovery. No, no, I definitely heard you. <laughs>
But uh, we, I've just uh, picked up some uh, information actually from Jenny Meadows, who's here working with us today. She's down on the infield. We hope we can get her reflections in some of these 800s. It's actually really disrupted travel this morning for Keely Hodgkinson. Big delay. Bus driver took a wrong, wrong turning, and that's stressful. But Keely Hodgkinson managing that stress very well. She's the winner in heat one, 59-53. Prudence, the goddess of South Africa, second, 159-72. And Evelina Matinin of Finland taking the final automatic spot to dead 41.